Let's say I create a software. Now if this software which I have created, I'm not using it for myself, but I'm also providing it to others where they could use it as a base. Now this could be provided over internet using various cloud services. A good example we could say is a commonly heard Microsoft Teams. Now when I say Microsoft Teams, what it is, it is a software as a service because that is being provided to other uh, users and these users accordingly can use it over the internet. So that platform would be used by many to, um, to process their various works. Now some of the commonly used uh, softwares as services, what we call as SaaS, include Google Suite, Slack, HubSpot, Netflix, uh, Salesforce, Salesforce. So those are some of the common ones. And then we do have others whose names have been mentioned here. Now, uh, let's take another example. If I say Yahoo Mail, then what is a Yahoo Mail? Yahoo Mail is not a software as a service. The simple reason is this is proprietary of the company prepared for its company use and it's not available to others for use. And therefore, Yahoo Mail is not an example of SaaS or software as a service. But those softwares which are provided to others uh, through the independent software vendors uh, they can actually contact a third party and provide it to others and this would be an example of software as a service.